What's up, everybody? This is Rich from True Boy JDDC and prepping. Use your gear, lose your gear, because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today, I want to come on here and do kind of a mail call, mail dump, whatever, um, about some pretty cool stuff that I have received in the mail from my man Conan at Conan's EDC. So again, throw this down. True Boy JDDC, Hank, super bright, really good background. Um, and we will get started. So one of the things Conan sent me the other day was the Silcock key, and I just did a video about that. So if you go back, it's actually in a video. Um, check out the video that I just did about uh, the small EDC mini like uh, prepper K. It's in there, and those are super useful. Update on that, I did bring it to work, and it does not open in an oxygen bottle. I cannot do that, and it won't work in the elevator. And I couldn't find any cabinets to try to open on it with it but you know whatever it's a water key actually so it's like its intended purpose uh so let's get started so um conan loves casio watches and uh i was kidding around with him and said they're from the 80s so he sent me a casio so this is the casio forester and i've been using it for the, this week actually or the past couple days anyway and uh it's an analog watch it literally has two functions. Um, you set the time, you set the date, and it has a light. So three functions, my bad. This light is insanity. Look at that. Look how bright that is. I literally went in my bathroom, and my bathroom has no window, so I turned the lights off. It's pretty dark in there, and I can see with this light. You can use this as like a whatever source for light. Like maybe not your backup, but a backup to a backup if you had to. It's like so bright. It's crazy. I'm literally like, hold on a second. Let me turn off the light so I can show you. It's crazy. Okay, so I didn't turn off the lights all the way, but this is low lighting conditions, and you can see it super good in low light. Look look how bright that is. Like, you can read by that light. Like, that's insane. So if you had to use it, it's like another light source. Like, that's crazy on a watch. So I thought that was a pretty amazing thing for this watch, you know, and it's got like this uh, faux leather right here in there, and it's, it, it is a... Uh, it's a nylon strap, but it's Velcro, and I like that. I like the way these, they're coming out with these watches with these really different and innovative straps. And I mean, not that Velcro is innovative, but it's different than having a buckle, and the buckle bends the leather, and then it breaks eventually, or whatever. It's just so cool that it's just, you know, that's it, Velcro, real simple, real easy. Um, works great. And uh, yeah, so I like it. It is pretty sick, and it is a smaller uh, case here so it's good it doesn't get caught up on stuff i have a bad habit of bumping into things with large watches and uh this is a really good size so you can avoid that and it also comes with a little keeper strap i just happen to take it off because you don't need the keeper strap because it's velcro and it stays so you don't have to put it over here like over the uh, strap once you put it on um so i put that in my watch case in case i do need it i have it and it, like it said it says forester right here it's like some kind of faux leather so that's like super cool um, and it's rugged, like seriously, it really is. Uh, water resistant, if you can see that. It's got some cool pine trees on the back of that. I like that. Um, funny thing is, Conan, <laughs> he said to me, he goes, I, I figured you'd like it because of its simple ease of use, and uh, I do. Uh, it's definitely a really good old guy watch because <laughs> there's not a lot of stuff you have to learn. You just set the time, set the date, you're good to go. Press the button, you can see. Um, <laughs> it's the perfect one. That's why I stick with iPhone because the software never changes. It's an old guy phone. It's an old guy watch. I like it a lot. Thanks a lot to him for that. It's a cool, cool watch. Really good uh, watch. Makes me want to get some more Casios, actually, honestly. And I like analog watches, so it's super even better. Um, also... He sent me this belt keeper. Um, so this goes on your belt. You know, you just put your belt through here, and it's got this uh, pretty heavy-duty solid clip. Um, you can put stuff on that. Um, and it has a D-ring that hangs down. So when I'm at work, I usually use one of the MN Garista extendable lanyards because I have a fob, and I have to keep, you know, going in out of doors with a fob and stuff like that. And then I have a bunch of my badges on it, like nursing badges and um, for, like, stuff I do. And um, I also have a CPR card and a school badge and a bunch of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I keep all of it on that. But when I'm not at work, I obviously don't need a fob or an extendable lanyard. I can slap my uh, my keys right on this. Um, and I think I'm going to do that because I'm always trying to find a place to put my keys. I'm always like, I'll oh, throw it in my hoodie pocket, throw it in my back pocket, throw it somewhere else. But with this, 
I can uh, just hook it on here and carry it around on my belt like I would any other day. So that's super cool. I'm going to try that out this weekend when I'm not at work. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Super cool. Dio Drio. Dio Drio makes some pretty solid stuff. So this is leather. Dio Drio makes solid leather leather products. Um, so yeah, check those guys out if you get a chance. So that's another item he sent me. I appreciate that. Um, and then... He sent me the screw pop and a carabiner. The screw pop is pretty sick. Look how small that is. Um, I really like the minimal nature of this. And then you just basically lift it up, slide it to where you want to put it, put it down. Boom. Now you got a razor knife and just lift it back up and it slides right back in place on its own actually um you can hook it on anything that's why we got the old carabiner here you can just slip it on the carabiner if you want boom you're good to go just lock it onto the belt here like this boom put that on your belt there you go if you wanted to do something like that um you can do there's a lot of different options you can do with this um it also has a magnet on it right here so you can hook it to things like, like what's this it hooks on this might, this is aluminum, oh, no, it's metal. So it'll uh, attach to things you can stick it to some if you want, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and look at how thin it is. I mean, it's not much bigger. Here's a Victorinox recruit uh, up against it. I mean, obviously it's hella thinner, but it's about the same size as a 84 millimeter SAK. So not a big item at all. Um, and uh, I like that, I like minimal. And uh, I'm gonna have to carry this uh, real soon. Um, so yeah definitely check out the screw pop um online super awesome tool it also has a bottle opener so that's cool and the carabiner came with it he sent um now i'm probably not gonna attach the carabiner to it i'll just carry this in my pocket but i always put carabiners in my bags i carry my keys on a carabiner and i usually attach the carabiner like to something like this and i forgot to put one in my bag because i just switched bags to that fjall robin so um I don't have any in there, so I'm going to throw this in my bag, my front pocket, and I'll have an extra carabiner because I broke them before, and I didn't have an extra one, so that's what led me to start putting them in there, or whatever, man, they're useful for everything, like, if you had to tie something to something else, I mean, you could use this, whatever, you put, tie something on that end, tie something to that end, you can use it for lots of different things, um, obviously not for climbing, but it does hold stuff, and it works on your keys, and it's an awesome keychain, or, you know, to carry other things like the screw pop or uh, other stuff so shout out to my man uh conan for all of the super cool items that he sent me um i super appreciate him and everybody else in my youtube world i don't want to say community you know how much i love that effing word so <laughs> well actually we do build our own communities in youtube so shout out to everybody in my community that I've built on my own. The whole idea of a larger community is a load of crap. Everybody builds their own smaller communities and I'm happy that Conan is in that one and I'm happy that lots of other people are as well. So thank you, Conan. Shout out to him. Check out his channel. I will link his channel in the description. You guys have a great hump day. <laughs>